A sun synchronous orbit (SSO), also called a heliosynchronous orbit, is a nearly polar orbit around a planet in which the satellite passes over any given point of the planet's surface at the same local mean solar time. More technically, it is an orbit arranged so that it precesses through one complete revolution each year, so it always maintains the same relationship with the sun. Topic. Applications A sun-synchronous orbit can place a satellite in constant sunlight, which allows the solar panels to work continually. This orbit is also useful for imaging, spy, and weather satellites, because every time that the satellite is overhead, the surface illumination angle on the planet underneath it will be nearly the same. This consistent lighting is a useful characteristic for satellites that image the Earth's surface in visible or infrared wavelengths, such as weather and spy satellites, and for other remote sensing satellites, such as those carrying ocean and atmospheric remote sensing instruments that require sunlight. For example, a satellite in sun-synchronous orbit might ascend across the equator 12 times a day each time at approximately 1500 mean local time. Special cases of the sun-synchronous orbit are the noon-midnight orbit, where the local mean solar time of passage for equatorial latitudes is around noon or midnight, and the dawn-dusk orbit, where the local mean solar time of passage for equatorial latitudes is around sunrise or sunset, so that the satellite rides the terminator between day and night. Riding the Terminator is useful for active radar satellites, as the satellite's solar panels can always see the Sun, without being shadowed by the Earth. It is also useful for some satellites with passive instruments that need to limit the Sun's influence on the measurements, as it is possible to always point the instruments towards the night side of the Earth. The dawn-dusk orbit has been used for solar-observing scientific satellites such as Yoko, Trace, Hynode and PROBA-2, affording them a nearly continuous view of the Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Orbital precession A sun-synchronous orbit is achieved by having the osculating orbital plane precess rotate approximately one degree eastward each day with respect to the celestial sphere to keep pace with the Earth's movement around the Sun. This precession is achieved by tuning the inclination to the altitude of the orbit see technical details such that Earth's equatorial bulge, which perturbs inclined orbits, causes the orbital plane of the spacecraft to precess with the desired rate. The plane of the orbit is not fixed in space relative to the distant stars, but rotates slowly about the Earth's axis. Typical Sun-synchronous orbits around Earth are about 600 to 800 km in altitude, with periods in the 96 to 100 minute range, and inclinations of around 98 degrees. This is slightly retrograde compared to the direction of Earth's rotation, 0 degrees represents an equatorial orbit, and 90 degrees represents a polar orbit. Sun synchronous orbits can happen around other oblate planets, such as Mars. A satellite around the almost spherical Venus, for example, will need an outside push to maintain a Sun synchronous orbit. Topic. Technical details The angular precession per orbit for an orbit around an oblate planet is given by delta omega equals minus 3 pi j 2 r e 2 p 2 cuz i 
Display style delta omega equals minus three pi frac j underscore two r underscore e carrot two p carrot two c d o t cos i, where j two is the coefficient for the second zonal term one point zero eight two six three times ten minus three related to the oblateness of the Earth. See geopotential model. Re is the mean radius of the Earth, roughly 6,378 km P is the semi-lattice rectum of the orbit I is the inclination of the orbit to the equator, an orbit will be sun-synchronous when the precession rate rho equals the mean motion of the Earth about the Sun, which is 360 degrees per sidereal year 1.9909687110-7 radians per second, so we must set do p equals rho, where p is the orbital period. As the orbital period of a spacecraft is two pi o three mu display style two pi sqrt frac a caret three mu, where a is the semi-major axis of the orbit and mu is the standard gravitational parameter of the planet three hundred ninety-eight thousand six hundred. 440 cubic kilometers per square second for Earth, as p approximately equals a for a circular or almost circular orbit, it follows that rho approximately equals minus 3 j 2 r e 2 mu Cause I two a seven two equals minus three hundred sixty per year times a twelve three hundred fifty two KM minus seven Two, cos I equals minus three hundred sixty per year times P three seven hundred ninety five H minus seven three cos Display style row approximately frac 3j underscore 2 r underscore e carrot 2 sqrt mu cos i 2 a carrot frac 7 2 equals left 360 carrot circ text per year right times left frac a 12 352 text km right carrot frac 7 2 cos I equals left 360 carat circ text per year right times left frac p 3.795 text h right carat frac 7 3 cos i or when rho is 360 degrees per year cos i approximately equals minus 2 row 3 j 2 r e 2 mu a 7 2 equals minus a 12 352 km Seven two equals minus P three seven hundred ninety five H seven three 
Display style cos i approximately frac 2 row 3 j underscore 2 r underscore e carrot 2 sqrt mu a carrot frac 7 2 equals left frac a 12 352 text km right carrot frac 7 2 equals left frac p 3.795 Text H right carrot FRAC seven three as an example, for a equals 7,200 km the spacecraft about 800 km over the Earth's surface one gets with this formula a Sun synchronous inclination of 98.696 degrees. Note that according to this approximation cos i equals minus 1 when the semi-major axis equals 12,352 km, which means that only smaller orbits can be sun-synchronous. The period can be in the range from 88 minutes for a very low orbit a. Topic. 6,554 kilometers, I 96 degrees to 3. 8 hours, a. Uh. Topic 12,352 kilometers, but this orbit would be equatorial with I 180 degrees. A period longer than 3.8 hours may be possible by using an eccentric orbit with p 12,352 km. If one wants a satellite to fly over some given spot on Earth every day at the same hour, it can do between 7 and 16 orbits per day, as shown in the following table. The table has been calculated assuming the periods given. The orbital period that should be used is actually slightly longer. For instance, a retrograde equatorial orbit that passes over the same spot after 24 hours has a true period about 365-364 approximately equals 1.0027 times longer than the time between overpasses. For non-equatorial orbits the factor is closer to 1, when one says that a sun-synchronous orbit goes over a spot on the Earth at the same local time each time, this refers to mean solar time, not to apparent solar time. The sun will not be in exactly the same position in the sky during the course of the year see equation of time and analemma. Sun-synchronous orbits are mostly selected for Earth observation satellites, with an altitude typically between 600 and 1,000 km over the Earth's surface. Even if an orbit remains sun-synchronous, however, other orbital parameters such as argument of periopsis and the orbital eccentricity will evolve, due to higher-order perturbations in the Earth's gravitational field, the pressure of sunlight, and other causes. Earth observation satellites, in particular, prefer orbits with constant altitude when passing over the same spot. Careful selection of eccentricity and location of perigee reveals specific combinations where the perturbations largely cancel and hence the orbit is relatively stable, a frozen orbit. The ERS-1, ERS-2 and INVISIT of European Space Agency, as well as the METOP spacecraft of EUMETSAT, are all operated in such sun-synchronous frozen orbits equals equals see also